Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome to the channel. I'm excited. For decades, people have been prank calling GameStop, asking about Battletoads on the Xbox. The day's finally here. It's a reality. Our GameStop employees will no longer be trolled. Guess what? Battletoads is now on Xbox. I played it on Game Pass. God dang it, I love Game Pass. Best value for your money. Got to play it. I was excited. I've been wanting to play this game ever since I saw it. So what is Battletoads all about? Well, it's a reboot. It's literally a story that takes place 26 years after the last Battletoads game, which is when we got it in real life. It's real meta. Uh, the story revolves around the Battletoads kind of not being as popular as they used to be. They want to get out in that limelight. They're tired of their everyday jobs. So they're like, you know what? Let's go after the Dark Queen make ourselves popular again and i'm not gonna get into the twist and stuff like that it's kind of interesting really funny and creative actually a really neat little way that they did the story but i want you guys to enjoy it for yourselves anyways let's talk about what attracted me the most out of Battletoad. it was the 2d art style so rare went out and got a smaller studio that decided to do a hand-drawn 2d art style that of course did take inspiration from the original game as far as like the designs of the three characters go but they did really nice job of making sure that each battle toad had its own little personality its little quirks and stuff with the way they look i really like uh rash he's the fan favorite that's why he was in battle toads and killer instinct that little collab that went on not too long ago but yeah each character has this nice little hand-drawn art i love it but as far as the graphics go some people aren't feeling it. They, they kind of would rather have a sprite based design to make it a little bit more authentic and stuff. For me, I thought it was neat looking. I felt, hey, this looks like something off of Cartoon Network, maybe like Samurai Jack or Fairly God Parents. I thought it looked kind of neat. In fact, if they are planning on doing a Battletoads cartoon, this wouldn't be a bad little art style for it. But as far as the designs go for characters, I think after the Battletoads, slightly disappointing let's talk about the way the enemies are designed in this game there's no more of those pig looking uh rancor keeper looking guards anymore in this game some of the other enemies that were present in the original bye bye no longer here doesn't have that like little authentic feel like callback as far as that goes but the biggest piece that does not make this game feel authentic is the design of the dark queen back in the originals she was a real dark evil notorious vixen very sexy that nice little boussiere that she used to wear that just had her mm, breasts is all nice popped up it's gone now she looks like a 13 year old little kid directly from like fairly godparents um just looks kind of like a little innocent little not evil brat like like out of dexter's laboratory i i do not like the way this character looks now I'm not trying to say she needs to be sexified and all this but she needs to be sexified and all this she doesn't look anything like it it just kind of I don't know I'm not feeling it especially this is supposed to take place 26 years later she like became younger looking and I don't know it's, it just doesn't make sense to me in that also the level of designs with the enemies and stuff it's just I don't know I think they could have tried a little bit better with the villains made them a little bit more over the top now, back to the Battletoads themselves. Not only do they look different and unique individually with the way that their graphics are set up and stuff, but their movesets. They each have their own um, unique moveset. A uh, variety of different punches, launchers, their, their attacks, their heavies, all have little personalities and quirks in them. In fact, the original series combat that Battletoads was known for has changed quite a bit in this one. This one's more based off of like quick dodging and, and using your tongue to latch onto your enemies and pull them to you and punching them with a basic attack, launch them up with Y, hit them with a uh, morph attack, which morphs your character into like funny, unique, different things. The characters change everything from like a, like a baboon to like an arcade cabinet to something like all sorts of different stuff. You'll find out in here. It's very satisfying to do the combos, juggle the characters around, get a chain bonus and stuff like that. And they, uh, again, you got your basic attacks, things like that. So it's not too hard to pick up on. In fact, I feel the beat em up sections of this game are the most solid that I've seen in a while. And I'm gonna talk more about the levels and, and stuff like that, but let's talk about uh, how the game works. So this game is for one to three players 
local co-op. We're also going to talk about that because I have a complaint about that. But one to three players, you can have all three Battletoads out there at the same time. But if you're playing individually, like myself, I played by myself. I play with myself a lot. You can still control all three of the Battletoads. This is done through like a respawn game mechanic where if you die as one Toad, as long as you have two other Toads that aren't in respawn cooldown, one of them can be tagged in and take over from there. So if a Battletoad dies, you'll see like a 30 second cooldown. And once that cooldown finishes, that toad is able to be used again. So you got to kind of keep an eye on your cooldown when you get surrounded by enemies. And as long as you have toads able to be respawned, it won't be game over for you. Thankfully, this game has a lot of checkpoints. It's actually very much more forgiving than the NES game by a lot. And in fact, this game is so easy, I ran through it within three hours on toad mode. So there's tadpole mode, which is... Super easy. Toad mode, which is normal, and battle toad, which is hard. It varies on difficulty based on the health of the enemies, the strength of the enemies, and your respawn time. So toad was a really good normal balance. Much easier than the original. Uh, there's four acts in this game. 25 levels across those acts. Um, and yeah, three and a half hours is about what it took me to run through this, which is rather short. And kind of unfortunate because uh, people are used to the, I guess, the prolonged gameplay of the original just because it was so hard. For me, I'm just glad I don't suck at Battletoads anymore. If I'm going to be quite honest, I had I, it actually made it a lot more enjoyable that it was accessible. And I like that they had the difficulty on it. But I feel three and a half hours was a little bit too short for the anticipation and such huge franchise that Battletoads is. But let's go ahead. Let's talk about one more thing so back to the stages there's a variety of different level types found in this game you got your standard beat em up levels which for the most part in this game are pretty flat they're not like like the original battle toads game had a combination of platforming with beat em ups you had like the snow stages the the snake stage you had sliding stages you had the first stage that was kind of neat you had the turbo tunnel area and it kind of did like a mixture between overall being a beat em up game that had consistency to throwing in every once in a while like a surf stage or something that you're riding and but for the most part the controls and everything the game that the way that it played was consistent this game has 25 stages for sure, but only a handful of them are remotely like the original beat em up style of the Battletoads game. This game kind of... I don't want to spoil too much, but by Act 3, there's going to be a different type of stage that you're like, what the hell am I even playing anymore? In fact, there's two different level types that it doesn't even feel like a Battletoads game anymore. It feels like you're playing some kind of Nintendo Switch shovelware game some flash shooter game because the game kind of just kind of changes what it's all about uh i, I feel that if they were stuck to the formula of it being a classic battletoads version it would have been a little bit more enjoyable but they just don't have that enough in here i felt they didn't stick with the original formula too much they wanted to be a little bit ambitious with the amount of stuff out there there's even levels that are strictly just a boss fight there's a weird mini game that is a couple of levels that literally takes like a minute long it's literally a rock paper scissors type of thing uh and then there's these other stages that pop up there's a callback to the turbo tunnel that's done as well which is kind of neat and fun um it's just i feel it should have been a little bit more consistency like the originals had where it was still like a platformer stage or a racing stage that still had overall the basic look and structure of the games with different platforms and stuff it's just kind of it was kind of like they didn't try in the level design and it sucks because i was waiting for this game and overall it is a good game like the segments where you're playing classic battletoad style fantastic i love the way the characters look i love the combat everything like that it's just i feel i don't know i feel that the game just didn't keep up what, what was good and what it tried to do it just didn't feel complete or executed right it's almost like this game wasn't even like oh, man it's like they didn't want to make a battletoads game 
<laughs> but use the characters, if that makes any sense. Now, the story is nice. The full, you know, in addition to the actual gameplay graphics, there's some pretty good fully animated sequences for the cutscenes. The voice acting is great in here. In fact, it's like you're watching a Battletoads cartoon, which I wish there was a Battletoads cartoon. Um, again, I do like that three people can play, but the one huge glare mistake that I think the worst thing they could have did with this is not having online gameplay there's no online play for this game at all and i feel that was a big mistake after like streets of rage 4 having online and doing a perfect good callback to a classic game franchise sega did perfect with that i feel that rare should have had online mode for this three player battle toads online would have been great and i feel they dropped the ball extremely on that i could forgive the inconsistency on the on the on the stages because I at least had fun playing this game. I can forgive the Dark Queen even though I wish she was as sexy as ever. But the lack of online multiplayer leaves a huge hole in what types of modes that this game could have had, and it's missing out. And it's on Game Pass, which is even more awesome. I think Xbox did a great job throwing it out on Game Pass. It's just there's no excuse after what Streets of Rage did with their online multiplayer to not have online multiplayer for Battletoads. So overall, I would say biggest problem, lack of online multiplayer, consistency on the stage overall, kind of not keeping true to the Battletoads form. Change is okay. I'm, a, I'm okay with that. But by Act 3, I was just kind of like, and you know what? It, they could have did a little bit better. Why the hell did they throw this out here? The Dark Queen's look, I don't really like. But other than that, combat system, fine. Characters, hilarious. Cutscenes, great. Uh, it's on Game Pass, so there's no harm, no foul if you're already paying for it. And uh, it could have been a little bit longer, but I like that the difficulty was adjustable and fair. So overall, I think not a bad thing. Maybe they'll release more content for this. Maybe there'll be DLC. Maybe they won't neglect Battletoads anymore. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. I'll say that. I, I would say that this game's a solid at least 7.5. Um... It, it met my expectations because I know a lot of people's expectations lowered when they saw the art style and the trailer that they showed recently. But I liked it. Anyways, guys, what do you think? Have you played through this? Let me know your thoughts. Is this something you're going to pass on? If not, why the hell aren't you playing it yet? And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video. Or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.